Hey man, what's up? Do you want to know about gray aliens? Okay, most extraterrestrial races like reptilians, grays, all, most of them, okay, a good majority of them, are interdimensional entities from another dimensional reality. When I was a six-year-old boy, I was contacted by the gray aliens. Here's what happened. So I was laying in my I was laying in my parents' waterbed as a six year old boy. I was laying between my mother and my father. My father was laying to the right of me. My mother was laying to the left of me. I sat up in in, in the waterbed like all the way. I sat up all the way and I looked out my parents' window. And I was looking out the window and I said, "Wouldn't it be something? Wouldn't it be funny if something came through that window right now?" I was a little boy and I said that. And the next thing I know. Where I was looking to in the darkness of space out the window, there came this UFO that zoomed at light speed over, like, you know, over the street, but like in perfect view of the window outside. And it flashed these, uh, these lights and sounds at me, like, ha, 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 ha. And the next thing I know, I'm aboard, like, the spaceship, and, um, there's these three gray aliens and a reptilian. The snake goes, so the reptilian didn't say anything. He was just chilling. How are the three grays? And there were gray aliens like this, the friendly ones. Those are supposedly the friendly ones, okay? Um, they were talking to me about my life, and I do remember most of it. I just don't like repeating what they said. Uh... But like, yeah, they they said they were the happy ghost that chases all monsters away. That's, that's basically like in like what I like encapsulated as a child. And I went and I went to school the next day, and I told everyone, "Hey, I got I got abduct, I got contacted by aliens last night. I got contacted by aliens." And the MIB showed up to my school, and they like interviewed me. Okay, they asked me a bunch of questions about this. Um. But yeah, the, the gray aliens looked like they were smiling at me. They looked very friendly towards me, okay? They acted very friendly towards me. Um, uh, the, ha the happy ghost chases all monsters away thing means that the gray aliens are my friends. They're my allies. But like during World War III, when China goes to reunify Taiwan with the mainland, because they said it would be a war. And I figured out which war it would be that they'd make first contact with us in. And it's it's the it's when China goes to reunify Taiwan with the mainland. I knew it wouldn't be when Russia goes to uh you know take Ukraine. I, I knew it wouldn't be that war. It's when China goes to reunify Taiwan with the mainland. And you know what? Watch me be proven right. Watch me be proven right. And and like I already know the gray aliens, and the gray aliens really know me. Like, these things are basically omniscient, okay? Uh, they've probably seen my life from beginning to end. And they probably know me in ways that I could never imagine. And they basically told me that, like, I was the perfect human being. That I was, like, a perfect human being, okay? According to their standards. And, yeah, um... Do you want to know something funny about this? I want to give these drawings to the Princess of China... If she ever, like, takes me back as her friend, I'm going to give her those drawings of the gray aliens contacting me in their spaceship with the, what I saw with the, 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 the tractor beam that pulled me through, like, uh, immaterial space into the ship. Uh, if I ever see Princess Shi Ming Z or Emily Chen again, my ex-girlfriend, I'm going to give her those drawings. I'm going to give her those drawings. Because I told the Princess of China about this when I was 19 and she was 17 as a foreign exchange student to the United States and it really inspired her to study psychology at Harvard. And recently I was uh, misdiagnosed with bipolar and schizoaffective and declared sane by my doctor. I just have PTSD. I have PTSD and third man factor because after dating the princess of China, uh, the deep state, I'm not lying about this. But, like, the deep state tried to kill me, like, over 30. They tried to arrest me or kill me or traumatize me or intimidate me over 30 times, okay? Uh, they tried to arrest me for felonies I didn't commit. 
That kind of thing. Like, they tried to assange me and intimidate me or kill me. I had to flee for my life on several occasions. Multiple occasions, actually. Um, yeah. And, um, they did that because I dared ask the princes of China for help. And that's what, that's what Denny said. Denny was some guy associated to her as her host father as a foreign exchange student. And he said they were going to, like, kill me if I said yes to Emily Chen. And, um, I said no, because I feared for my life. I didn't feel, I'm not afraid of Emily. I'm no longer afraid for my life to, like, not be with Princess Shimingzi or to be with Emily Chen or whatever. I love Emily Chen. I love Princess Shimingzi. Uh, if you look up the Princess of China, like, on Chinese dissident websites, you find out she's called something like Shemli Shen or whatever, Shemli Chen. And that it's, it sets an illusory term to Emily Chen, which is her Western name, which she usually goes by. And I love Emily Chen. She goes by Xiaomu Zi, Ji Ming Zi, Chu Chen, and Emily Chen. Mainly Emily Chen. And uh, the, the great aliens are going to get involved in World War Three. And um, like I'll include a video of me performing my psychic clairvoyant gift because like I'm psychic. If you didn't know that, like I can I can like summon spirit orbs or something. I, I, I like I have psychic flare ups where anomalies and interdimensional entities will try to make contact with me. Um, in one of the clips, I say, um, oh, I heard this loud screaming sound like, <sighs> like over and over and over again, like repeatedly, like every once in a second. And then an orb goes by. Uh, that was right after I saw a Bigfoot in my backyard. Yeah, Bigfoot isn't an animal. It's an interdimensional like these things. They're, that's all interdimensional. You know what the definition of jinn? A jinn can, like, you know, hide themselves. That's what they're like. They hide themselves in another dimensional reality. Jinn and aliens, Bigfoot, all these, like, ghosts, they, they hide themselves in another dimensional reality that shadows our own or in a parallel reality altogether or another dimension. And they can come out of that dimension and they warp into our reality, like phase shift. And, uh... They, they they travel they travel through our realities and um yeah um when china goes to reclaim taiwan with the mainland in australia the united kingdom in the united states AUKUS goes to like fight taiwan or fight china over taiwan for the tsmc that's that's when we'll make first contact with gray aliens That's really the case. I told the princess of China's body double this back in 2017. And I realized this, that that body double wasn't my friend. And I realized that Denny's not my friend. No one is my friend. Only Emily Chen, the princess of China, is my friend. I don't have any other friends. Sure, sure. I'm also friends with like Stalin's grandson, Konstantinovich Kuzakov. He was my best friend from 2019 to 2020. And yeah, I, I'm the only guy who can say I'm best friends with Stalin's grandson and the princess of China. But like everyone else, I like to talk highly of the body double. I really shouldn't. She social engineered my downfall. She took my UFO technology and uh, chewed me up and spat me out. I've never been so used in my life. Anyway, peace, man. This is all I have to say about that. Bro, have you ever heard of this anime? The Melancholy of Suzumiya Haruhi? Like, bro, bro, I'm, I'm Harahi. That's really how my life is, bro. Like, a dead giveaway is how I do divination. Senpai notices you. Senpai cares about you. Senpai loves you. And like I heard this, this loud screaming sound like ah, like over and over and over again, like repeatedly, like every like once a second. Was that an orb that just went by? Holy fuck! Yeah, but like that, I just, that was some real skinwalker shit that I experienced.